Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn template editing in Adobe After Effects. Hello friends. So first of all, what is template editing? So template editing is a process where you are getting Adobe After Effects project from a website like Element.Envento, Storyblock or a video have. This kind of website providing you a Adobe After Effects project where you can just download that project and change the logo, elements, text, etc by your requirement. So friends, why we are using Adobe After Effects templates? So in many cases, you need to create a wedding invitation video, birthday invitation video. You need to create a logo intro, logo outro, YouTube channel video and much more. So these kind of videos take a lot of time to start from the scratch. So this kind of website like element.envento storyblock providing you a template where you just need to change a logo, text information, etc. and your video is done. So it will be take a less time compared to creating from the scratch. So guys, let's start with taking one template. So guys, I'm just opening one template. After opening the template, I will getting one error. After effect, this project must be converted from version 11.0, Windows 64, the original file will be unchanged. So this is just converting the version of Adobe After Effect templates. So we are what we are doing, we are just click on OK. So it will automatically convert it. Now the next error will show that the one file is missing. This is because the original project uh, location will somewhere else. Now we are just download that project and putting on our local drive. So what we have need to do, we just need to locate that particular path. So no need to worry, just press OK. Now for now I don't need the background music. So I'm just delete this. Fine. Now as you can see, I'm getting this screen, fine. In our project panel, we have a final comp, your logo, your text, document file and as well as solids. Now our final comp is our main file where we are getting our full video. See, this is our shape animation video. Now if you are creating this kind of shape animation, then it will take a lot of time. But in this template, you just need to change your logo, change your text and your video is done. So guys, first of all, in this last, what I want to do is I want to write my name instead of your text. Fine. So what I am doing, I am just go to this your text and instead of your text, just double click on this and I am typing Rushi. Fine. This is done. You can also increase the size. You can also change anything you want. For example, I am increasing the text size. Fine. Also, I don't like this font. So you can change the font style. Okay. Now, if I'm going to my final comp and just play this video again. So guys, this kind of video or this kind of shape animation you can create using a template. So this template is ready made. You just need to change your text and your video is done. Now instead of text, if I want to put my logo, then just delete this text. Okay. I am just removing this text and instead of this text, I am just putting my logo over here. Fine. So guys, for importing a logo, I am just adding one new folder which is called logo and I'm just drag and drop my logo into this folder. Okay. Now this is a systematic way so that you have a proper folder structure. So guys, here is my logo. I'm just going this is your low composition and putting my logo white to this composition. Now just scale this little bit. Okay. And now I'm going to my final comp. At the last you can see our logo. Now it will be a little bit of small. Okay, I'm just increasing the size. When it is come to this uh, keyframe, the size should be like this. And my position should like this. Fine, I'm just 100% uh, scale. Okay, now let's just run it. So this is our shape animation okay so you can just need to change according to the requirement now my logo is coming from here okay 
so I am just put this anchor point to here and uh, my logo should be scale from here see now it's look better so guys this is our final output okay we are just play it and you can see our final output now we are going to check our next template okay which is our ribbon template so guys I just open the template and uh, again I will get the same error after effect this project must be converted from version 11.0 okay the original file will be not unchanged just press ok it will automatically convert to that latest version and now I am getting one another error which is said a resolve font because in this uh, template the font are using that are not available in our computer so that you can just download that uh, font and install in your computer or else just press ok so by default it will take any font from your adobe after effect so i'm just press ok and next i will be getting one more error this is after effect warning one file is missing that you can just replace or you can just relocate from your local folder so guys this is my template is already open now I have to change my workspace because it's not look good just going to workspace and I'm adding my workspace which is called Rushi okay done so this is our screen so now there are some comps like uh, final colorful comp which is our final comp now in the project uh, interface you can see some folders as well as compositions in the assets folders you can see a sequence file which is animations the next is comps which is represent a uh, different different comps inside this comp folder where we have a logo folder inside this logo we have a different different logo compositions same as we have a final colorful comp and different different comp in the text here composition we can add our text over here and in a logo placeholder we just need to place our logo so guys let's start so first of all we have to add our logo but before that I will just show you the final output so this is our output where the ribbon is come over there and now here we will show our logo so first of all we need to go to a logo placeholder composition now here we will add our logo so I'm creating one folder which is called logo so guys my logo over here now I'm just drag and drop my black logo to my logo placeholder composition I'm just scale down okay like this little bit of town just adjust according to your requirement and now I'm going to my final composition just play this comp and you can see how our logo will affect it with this template so it's look good okay if you want to add some text over here okay so you can also add some text from the text here composition just go over here new text template editing okay I'm just add this text just scale like a 50% because it will be little bit of small also I'm change the opacity for like 50 okay and now I'm going to my composition see it will be look good you can just uh, do some settings like make it little bit of town okay so like this you can do everything in template just do the practice and you will get a better output so this is our final output I'm just uh, make it on high quality so preview will be take some time but it will give you the high resolution output so guys like this you can create a uh, different different videos using a template so in many cases if you want to create a logo animation if you want to create a shape animations wedding invitations birthday invitations so instead of creating anything from scratch and if you don't have a much time just download the template from particular website and just edit it so that in a less time you can create a very good video so guys our template editing video is over here thank you so much